Hey guys, for those of you that watched episode 3, you would have seen that I cut it short. So this is the start of episode 4. I'm still out on day 2 of my Gippsland adventure and still fishing that open lake on soft plastics but having an absolute ball. I've downsized to the 2 inch Z-Man grub when the wind really calmed off and started finding some really big fish. So hope you enjoy this last part of my trip and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Alright, mid-morning update. Probably landed 20 brim this morning so far. It's gotten really tough as you guys can see. It's just totally calmed off and the fish are really quite timid. So I've had to go back down to the two inch grub in motor oil. Just a nice finesse presentation. Um, that's, that's what's been working the last sort of half hour. And the other key thing is really just moving around, using the main motor, finding new schools of fish in my Loran sounder. Um, spending five minutes having a couple of casts. If I get fish, I'll stick around, otherwise I keep moving until I find some more. So I've caught five and six casts on this particular patch, and I just wanted to give you guys a slightly different angle just to see how I'm working and retrieving this plastic. So here we go. Make sure you guys can see all right. So I've seen some fish on the side imaging over to the right of the boat. We'll see how we go. Just quickly check the sounder and I've got fish to the left and to the right of the boat. So there still seems to be a few in the area. Ah, that was a hit. <laughs> that guy might have felt the hook though. He may not come back. one that I've pulled out of this whole school. Fresh scent on. Procure bloody tuna. That's my go-to. Just letting that plastic sink down. Turn the boat around a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see a bit better. Might even sit down for this. Very uh very very civilized fishing. <laughs> good good take with that fresh scent it really makes a difference it's a better fish than that last one that we just caught yeah much better fish no need to horse him in got all the time in the world just back that drag off a touch It's a real nice fish. Definitely need the net for this guy. Here he comes. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. How's this for a fish? Oh wow. What a chunk. Look at that fish. See, elephants do eat peanuts. <laughs> what a great fish. I find line management to be quite important, so every time I make a cast, I close the bail arm by hand and always grab the pinch the line and wind a few loops on under tension. It really helps to eliminate some of those wind knots. Yep. the net for this guy as well. Another nice fish. Yeah, it's another chunk. All right, let's try the swim swim before we have to make a move and do another drift. Got my rods nice and close by. I'll just pick one up. If I want to make a change. Let's just make sure that there's some fish on the sounder. Yes, there's some fish to the right of us, which is exactly where we're casting and drifting. Yep, yep, first cast. <laughs> well, there you go. It's a better fish too. Good head shakes out there. Scrapper, it's not overly big. Pull him in. Nail that swim swim. And we'll go again. Two and two casts, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's not big, but just so much fun. Put some fresh scent on.
just a little guy. Back again, we've just finished our live stream on Facebook, so hopefully those of you watching enjoyed it. Caught a few nice fish on live for you guys, then they slow down again. It's nice and choppy, and then it's glassed off again, so. But that's, that's winter weather for you. I'll take these headphones out now. Since we're not doing any more recording on the phone, these things are awesome. If you have an iPhone, wireless headphones are brilliant. First cast. I'm back on the two inch grub. We'll go on to a slightly more finesse presentation again. When that wind was up, they were really munching the swim swim, but with that wind backing off again, I feel like the two inch grub might be the standout. Although there's a bit more wind coming and it's swung around again, so maybe they'll continue feeding on those bigger profile plastics. But just fanning my casts from side to side, there's fish all around us. Spent a lot of time looking at the sounder and finding them and putting some waypoints in, so now I'm just focusing on that general area. And if I get a fish from that side, I'll cast over to the other side, let one of the sides rest a little bit, so to speak. We've made a change, found some nice fish on the side imaging. Run with a swim swim first up. Finally a bit of a breeze on the water, which should hopefully, hopefully help with a bite too. Nice big long cast, wind up the slack line under tension. Really it helps to eliminate any wind knots on the surface there. <laughs> That's better. Maybe. Unless he's just scrapping really well. <laughs> uh, he's okay. It's nothing huge. A good fighter. Pull this guy in. That swim in the corner of the mouth. Pop that out. Just made a quick cast after that last fish with the grub. I'm just
just gonna chop and change between the two plastics for a while. I find that sometimes they want a bit of a different profile, slightly different weight. And both the grub and the swim swim are catching, so no disadvantage to fishing both plastics. Yep, yep, there we go, two and two. Swallow that grub. Try and pop that hook out. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, buddy. Yep. That was pretty quick that time. of weight here, unless he's foul hooked. Yeah, it could have been, yep. Still a nice brim. But I think he had the line wrapped around one of his fins, so it's coming in sideways a little bit. But he swallowed that grub. Go again. Ah, missed him. Yep. It's two and two casts on the grub. That's a better fish. Some good head shakes. playing up. He's not that big. <laughs> but he's fighting like he is. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Wow, buddy. Oh, he's alright. No point horsing him in. I'll just take my time with him. Get the net for him. Alright, thanks for the fight. Right. There he is. Let him go. back at the house, day is done. Just finished packing up and I'm ready to hit the road back to Melbourne after this awesome East Gippsland adventure. It's a funny day today, I really tried, tried hard to find those brim down the front of the system but just couldn't find anything at all. So went back out in the lake and had a ball. You know, I really had to work hard. When that wind died down, I had to downsize to a two inch grub but when that wind was up or earlier in the morning, the fish were really hitting those swim swims and bigger Z-Man grubs really hard. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed some, enjoyed the video and uh, most importantly, learned something from it. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Cheers.